The Amish community has been recognized for its challenging conditions. And in today's video, we delve into the stories of 15 individuals who made the courageous decision to leave this tight-knit society. From enduring instances abuse, to navigating strict rules, and even coping with the loss of a loved one. These individuals faced profound challenges that led them to embark on a journey of departure. Leaving the Amish community is often regarded as taboo, carrying severe consequences such as excommunication from the church and being shunned by family and friends. Join us as we explore these compelling narratives and stay tuned to learn why one former Amish woman's departure is viewed as a betrayal of their religion by her father, who pleads for her return. Mose Gingerich Mose J. Gingerich, born on July 27, 1979, into an Old Order Amish family in Greenwood, Wisconsin, is known both as a documentary maker and an author specializing in murder mystery novels set in Amish communities. Growing up as the ninth child among 13 siblings on a 255-acre farm, he was deeply immersed in farm life from a young age. Despite the demanding chores, Gingerich found solace in reading, with classics like Tom Sawyer, Huckleberry Finn, Little Men, Little Women, Big Smoke Mountain, and Heidi shaping his early literary tastes. During his adolescence, Gingerich lived in six different Amish communities across Wisconsin, Iowa, Missouri, and Kansas. At 19, he embarked on a career as a school teacher, instructing grades one through eight in a one-room schoolhouse for a span of four years. However, upon completing his fourth year of teaching on July 3, 2002, Gingerich made the decision to leave his Amish community. This choice resulted in his being excommunicated, leading to a complete separation from his family and former community. Despite the Amish community's conviction that Mose Gingerich is a transgressor for forsaking the Amish way of life, Mose finds himself uncertain about his beliefs since departing the strict community in Wisconsin. While he still maintains faith in God, he no longer attends church and is cautious about discussing his past life, omitting certain details to avoid tarnishing the reputation of the Amish community. Reflecting on his past, Mose recalls receiving a battery-operated radio from an outsider, a prized possession he guarded fiercely, spending Sunday afternoons immersed in country music and harboring dreams of becoming a country star. Mose faced severe punishment from the church when discovered. Though he refrains from divulging specifics, the ordeal prompted a six-month period of self-imposed exile. Upon his return, Mose endeavored to conform, assuming the role of a schoolteacher in a genuine attempt to embody the ideal Amish boy. Mose gained recognition through the reality TV show Amish in the City, which documented his rumspringa experience in Hollywood. In a memorable episode, Mose's adventurous spirit led him perilously close to drowning during his inaugural ocean swim. Subsequently, he abandoned his Amish lifestyle and relocated to Colombia. Presently, Mose serves as a mentor for Amish youth navigating the transition into the English world. His basement serves as a refuge for over 20 young men, offering guidance and support as they navigate the challenges of departing their communities. Number 2. Sam Smucker For four decades, Sam Schmucker has served as the pastor of the Worship Center, a non-denominational church he played a pivotal role in establishing. Sam's journey began in the Amish community with just an eighth grade education. At the age of 12, he started questioning the Amish way of life, feeling it lacked spiritual depth and struggling to understand their resistance to owning cars. Luckily, Sam's parents were understanding, allowing him to keep his car near the family farm. During Rumspringa, a time when Amish youth explore the outside world, Sam took a different path. Instead of returning to his community, he chose marriage and relocation to Arizona. This decision marked a turning point in his life. When his parents participated in Bible studies considered controversial by Amish leaders, they were excommunicated, further solidifying Sam's separation from the community. Despite lacking a high school diploma, Sam embarked on a nine-month ministerial program, catalyzing his journey toward becoming a pastor. Establishing his own church, he embarked on a fulfilling career that endured until his retirement in June 2017, though he remains active in assisting others in his spare time. Number 3. Saloma Miller Saloma Miller explains that leaving the Amish community can occur either through life or through death. In her case, she chose the former. At the age of 20, she made the decision to leave Ohio for Vermont 
because she believed staying would have led her to consider ending her own life. Enduring physical abuse from her father and suffering various forms of mistreatment from an older brother, Saloma found solace in school, which served as a safe haven from the turmoil at home. Despite the Amish tradition of forbidding photography, she recalls having her school picture taken in second grade. However, before turning 14, Saloma stopped attending school and entered the workforce. She felt disconnected from the young men in her community, even after realizing that marriage was the only escape from her parents' household. Consequently, at age 20, Saloma ran away to break free from her family's abuse and the stifling lifestyle she could not embrace. To conceal her identity, she even adopted the name Linda. Following her departure from the community, Saloma underwent extensive therapy to cope with her traumatic experiences. Having only received an eighth grade education during her childhood, she went on to earn her GED, pursue community college courses, and was later recognized as an Ada Comstock Scholar at Smith College. Additionally, she spent a semester studying at the University of Hamburg in Germany. Remarkably, at the age of 50, she achieved her undergraduate degree with a major in German studies and a minor in philosophy. Saloma has authored three books, and her life story has been showcased in two PBS American Experience documentaries titled The Amish and The Amish Shunned. Currently, she resides in Virginia with her husband, David, and is the proud mother of two adult sons. She has also authored several books recounting her harrowing journey. Number 4. Audrey TheodisseeOnline.com conducted an illuminating interview with one of its employees in 2016, where they delved into her experiences growing up in the Amish community. While the interviewee's name was changed to Audrey to protect her privacy, her narrative remained authentic and revealing. Audrey's journey unfolds against the backdrop of her mother's battle with addiction before Audrey's birth, which led her to seek refuge within the Amish community to overcome these challenges. Entrenched in the Amish church, Audrey's mother met her father, drawing him into the community as their relationship blossomed. Growing up within this close-knit community, Audrey faced the curious stares of outsiders but found solace amidst her fellow Amish. However, the weight of isolation became too much for Audrey's mother, leading her to leave the community when Audrey was just 12 years old. Eventually, Audrey's father followed suit. Despite her older sister's initial desire to return to the Amish way of life, she ultimately chose to stand by her family, unable to bear the thought of separation from them. Transitioning out of the Amish community presented Audrey with numerous challenges, notably the experience of being shunned by former acquaintances. Childhood friendships dissolved, with even fleeting glances becoming rare occurrences. Yet, amidst the trials, Audrey holds dear the close bond she shares with her siblings, highlighting the enduring strength of familial ties during times of upheaval. Number 5. Emma Ginger Rich Emma Ginger Rich spent her childhood within the conservative Schwarzentruber Amish community in Missouri, where the primary language spoken was German. However, Emma's perspective on her ex-community is quite critical. She considers it to be composed of the least modern and least educated Amish individuals. Emma found it really hard to fit in with the other girls her age. The restrictions like not being allowed to use electricity or have running water puzzled her. But what appalled her the most was the Amish approach to dating. On a Saturday night, a young man would be sent into her room, and she was expected to let him stay overnight. Despite the prohibition on intimacy before marriage, Emma couldn't fathom how people were supposed to fall in love under such circumstances. At the age of 18, Emma made a life-altering decision to leave. Another rebellious teenager had gifted her a cell phone, which she concealed in her room until the opportune moment arose. On a chilly January day in 2006, precisely at 12.30 in the afternoon, Emma removed her bonnet and stepped out of her family's modest farmhouse. She left a note for her parents. The time has come for me to leave. I am not happy here anymore. I'm sorry to do this to you, but I need to try a different life. She walked 3.7 miles to the next town, where she could finally use the phone. A friend of her father had provided her with a number to call after she confided in him about her plan to run away. That call led her to a non-Amish woman who generously offered Emma a place to stay for a couple of weeks. Relocating to Harlingen, situated in southern Texas, presented a stark contrast. Accustomed to preparing meals for her family of 16, she adapted to cooking for herself alone. She familiarized herself with culinary staples like tortillas. Additionally, she achieved her GED followed by a college degree. Now residing in Texas, Emma has embraced an English life. 
She works a job and is pursuing an MBA in business. However, leaving her community wasn't without its challenges. Emma grapples with depression due to culture shock and the rejection she faced from her family. Despite it all, she can't imagine returning to her former Amish life. Number 6. Levi Shetler Levi Shetler started contemplating leaving the Amish community when he was just 15 years old. His fascination with trucks and the longing to drive clashed with Amish customs, sparking his desire for a different life. When his older brother left at 17, Levi saw firsthand the hurdles of breaking away, but he was determined to do the same. He made the bold move to Ohio to join his sibling, taking refuge in a barn on his first night until his cousin came to his aid. Finding freedom outside the community, Levi found work in construction and began attending church with his cousin. Although he was reunited with his brother, his relationship with the rest of his family became strained. His visits home were subject to strict conditions, limiting conversations to approved topics. Attempts to reach out to old friends within the Amish community went unanswered, a common experience for those who leave. Despite the challenges and social isolation, Levi cherishes his newfound independence. He indulges in his passion for mini trucks without restraint, liberated from the confines of his strict upbringing. Number 7. Kate Stoltz Kate Stoltzfus, professionally known as Kate Stoltz, resides in New York City and boasts a multifaceted career as an American model, designer, and television personality. Born into an Amish family under the name Katie Stoltzfus, she grew up as the middle child among seven siblings, spending her formative years working on the family farm and honing her skills in clothing design by sewing garments for herself and her immediate family. Stoltz gained recognition through her role as one of the stars on the reality TV series Breaking Amish, where she featured in the initial seasons and subsequent spin-off Breaking Amish, Brave New World. Transitioning to the follow-up show Return to Amish, which premiered in June 2014, Stoltz continued to captivate audiences with her journey beyond the confines of her Amish upbringing. Seeking new horizons, Stoltz relocated to New York City to pursue modeling opportunities, securing engagements with notable brands such as Union Bay, Spiegel, Bella, and Gypsy Sisters. Her portfolio expanded further with a feature in Maxim magazine in July 2013. Kate Stoltz openly acknowledges the Amish community's staunch disapproval of modeling, considering it one of the gravest offenses a woman can commit due to its perceived vanity. Despite this, Kate defied societal expectations and departed her community to pursue her modeling career. As the daughter of an Amish church minister, Kate felt immense pressure to conform to strict standards of perfection. She harbors doubts about her father's reaction to her lingerie shoots, anticipating condemnation and disappointment from the church. Her relocation to New York City solidified her desire to pursue a career in fashion design. Stoltz enrolled at the Fashion Institute of Technology in New York, gaining valuable experience through internships with renowned designers Jason Wu and Cynthia Rowley, before establishing her own fashion label, Kate Stoltz NYC. Emphasizing sustainability and environmental consciousness, her brand aims to offer high-quality clothing with minimal ecological impact, reflecting Stoltz's personal commitment to reducing her carbon footprint. Despite their differences, the 31-year-old Kate maintains a strong bond with her family. Though they persistently urge her to return home, she remains resolute in pursuing her dreams. She expresses gratitude for their unwavering acceptance, despite differences in religious and political beliefs. Grateful for the opportunity to explore the vast world beyond her Amish community, Kate now prioritizes her own happiness above all else. The daughter of the bishop chose to depart from her Amish community in pursuit of a modeling career bidding farewell to her traditional bonnet. Number 8. Barbie Amish Barbie Amish gained fame through the reality TV show Breaking Amish. The show followed a group of young Amish and Mennonite adults as they left their strict religious communities to explore the outside world. Barbie, now 22, a preacher's daughter from a strict community in Kentucky, found herself torn between her desire for independence and the traditions of her Amish upbringing. She believed it was wrong for the church to dictate who she could and couldn't date. Her journey on the show was filled with personal struggles, tumultuous relationships, and moments of resilience and growth. The show previewed an emotional episode in which Barbie revealed to her parents her intention to leave the Amish community. Tensions ran high as Barbie's father, grappling with his daughter's decision, expressed his disapproval by calling her hurtful names such as a casting a shadow over their conversation. 
Despite the challenges, Barbie's story resonated with viewers, showcasing the complexities of navigating cultural boundaries and personal freedom. Her courage to question norms and seek her own path left a lasting impression on fans of Breaking Amish. Number 9. Timothy Souter Timothy Souter spent his formative years in one of the oldest Amish communities in the United States until his family relocated to Ohio when he turned 14. From a young age, he harbored aspirations of pursuing a career in science, often looking out for old televisions and dumpsters to broaden his knowledge beyond the confines of his community. Despite the lack of support for higher education within the Amish community, Timothy's parents provided some encouragement by giving him a modest encyclopedia on science when he was eight years old. At the age of 20, during a biking excursion in Colorado, Timothy encountered a group of professionals with advanced degrees who inspired him to further his education. Encouraged by their intellectual discourse, Timothy made the decision to depart from his Amish upbringing in pursuit of his dreams. Despite lacking a high school diploma, he managed to gain admission to the University of Pittsburgh Greensburg and later transferred to Columbia University in 2010, where he pursued a bachelor's degree in biology. Now residing in the bustling atmosphere of New York City, Timothy leads a typical urban lifestyle. While he remains uncertain about his future relationship with the Amish community, he cannot envision returning to life in Ohio or Pennsylvania. Number 10. Ora J. Ish Ora J. Ish was born into an Amish family and raised in a traditional Amish community. Throughout their time in the Amish community, Ora J. and his wife Irene faced various challenges common to those living within the strictures of Amish tradition. These challenges often include limited access to modern technology, reliance on manual labor for farming and other tasks, and adherence to a set of cultural and religious norms that can be restrictive for some individuals. In their book, Plain Faith, the Ishas detail some of the struggles they faced, including the tragic loss of their two daughters in a farming accident. This devastating event ultimately led them to reevaluate their lives within the Amish community and eventually make the difficult decision to leave. Their journey out of the Amish community involved significant emotional and social upheaval, as leaving behind one's family, friends, and the only way of life one has ever known can be incredibly challenging. Additionally, Transitioning to the outside world can present its own set of difficulties, including adapting to modern conveniences, navigating unfamiliar social structures, and establishing a new sense of identity outside of the Amish community. Despite these challenges, the Ishas have shared their story with the world through their book, offering readers a glimpse into the complexities of Amish life and the journey of leaving it behind. Their story has resonated with many individuals who have experienced similar struggles or who are simply curious about life within the Amish community and the process of leaving it. Number 11. Misty Griffin Misty Griffin, a former member of the Amish community, shared a unique and compelling story of resilience and personal growth. Having spent her formative years within the confines of the Amish lifestyle, Misty eventually made the courageous decision to leave her community in pursuit of a new path. Misty Griffin was born into an Amish family, and by the time she turned 10, she was fully immersed in the Amish way of life, dressing in traditional attire. She said she and her sister experienced isolation, forbidden from communicating with each other or anyone else. At age 11, they were relocated to a mountain ranch, essentially becoming prisoners there. When she was 19, she attempted to escape the ranch, prompting her stepfather to send her to an Amish community. After three and a half years with the Amish, she left due to abuse by the bishop. Misty said she witnessed multiple cases of abuse within the Amish community, none of which were reported to authorities, and this was a normal reality. Offenders continued to live freely among the church while victims suffered in silence. Fearing the repercussions of speaking out within the church, she turned to the police, concerned that the abuser might be victimizing his own children. The Amish's insular lifestyle meant their allegiance lay solely with their community, not with the broader legal system. Departing the Amish community is exceptionally challenging. According to Griffin, the transition catapulted her from the 1600s into the modern era, leaving her grappling with an entirely unfamiliar world. Fortunately, a relative aided her in obtaining a passport, which was her first step toward integration. Leaving the Amish resulted in automatic shunning, leaving her isolated until she repents. This was an ordeal she continued to endure. Twelve years have passed since she last saw her sister, who remains in an Amish community in the Midwest. A few years ago, she penned her memoir, Tears of the Silence, 
to shed light on child abuse issues, including abuse within the Amish. Educating the public is vital in raising awareness and preventing such atrocities. Learning that her sister and her siblings reported her father's abuse to the police, resulting in his conviction, brought some closure. The bishop received a 10-year prison sentence for child molestation. Life today surpasses her expectations upon leaving the Amish, offering fulfillment and opportunities she once thought were unattainable. Number 12. Ruth Irene Garrett Ruth Irene Garrett holds on to the hope that one day her family will understand why she left her Amish community. Currently, she remains excommunicated from her church and shunned by both her family and former community. Ruth realized that the mistreatment of women in the Amish society was a big reason she left. She struggled with the expectation for women to always submit to men and the lack of freedom. The inconsistent enforcement of rules in the church and enduring verbal abuse from both the church and her family added to her dissatisfaction. At 15, Ruth met Audie Garrett a 40-year-old divorced man who worked as a driver for her family. Knowing her father would disapprove of their relationship, they eloped and got married in Nashville just a week later. Despite staying in touch with her family, Ruth's father continues to push her to return to the Amish church for salvation. However, Ruth remains firm in her decision to reject the oppressive Amish lifestyle she left behind in 1996. She cherishes the freedom she now enjoys. Number 13, Anna D. Olson. Anna D. Olson, a passionate public speaker and writer, shares her journey of leaving the Amish community. Growing up in Missouri, Wisconsin, and Minnesota, Annie spent her first 24 years deeply immersed in Amish life. While she appreciated the community's values of hard work and self-sufficiency, she struggled to fit in. Bullied for her weight by both family and community members, Annie endured a childhood marked by a lack of support or affection from her parents. Unable to express herself or question parental authority, Annie reached a breaking point while babysitting for a non-Amish family near her community. Choosing to leave, she began a journey of self-discovery. Despite challenges, Annie earned her high school diploma within a year of departure, finding comfort in her newfound freedom. Today, she embraces her Amish upbringing, recognizing her hardships as sources of inner strength and resilience. Number 14. Jeremiah Raber Jeremiah Raber's journey into the spotlight began when he joined the original cast of Breaking Amish on TLC in 2012. Alongside cast members on the show, Jeremiah ventured to New York City, offering viewers a glimpse into modern America. Faced with the choice to leave their Amish and Mennonite backgrounds behind permanently, all cast members decided to embrace a new lifestyle. Known as the bad boy of the reality TV series, Jeremiah gained fame through his appearances on Breaking Amish, as well as its spin-offs, Brave New World, and Return to Amish. Jeremiah's tumultuous relationships and outspoken presence on social media have sparked tabloid speculation. While fans of Breaking Amish and its spin-offs know about Jeremiah's adoption into an Amish family, fewer are aware of the tragic details of his life before and after finding his new family. In a candid Facebook post in July 2015, Jeremiah disclosed that he was taken from his biological mother at nine months old and adopted at one and a half years old. Struggling to adapt to the Amish lifestyle, Jeremiah shared his challenges within the community, including his adopted mother's disappointment in his inability to conform. Eventually, Jeremiah became estranged from his adopted family around 2012, leading to limited communication since then. Despite growing up without technology until his young adulthood, Jeremiah has embraced social media, particularly YouTube. With over 8,000 subscribers and various uploads since 2012, his channel provides insights into Pennsylvania Dutch language lessons and personal reflections, offering viewers a deeper understanding of his experiences. Number 15. Abe Shoemaker Abe Shoemaker is recognized for his role as one of the original cast members on the reality television series Breaking Amish. Alongside other cast members, Abe embarked on a journey from the Amish community to explore life outside of their traditional upbringing. The show depicted their experiences navigating the challenges and opportunities presented by the modern world. While further details about Abe Shoemaker's life beyond his appearance on the show may be limited, his participation in Breaking Amish provided viewers with a glimpse into the complexities of leaving the Amish community and embracing new paths. Number 16. Faith Elizabeth Hunter Faith Elizabeth Hunter's journey showcases remarkable resilience and bravery, despite facing challenges. Raised in a strict Amish community, she endured oppression and control over every aspect of her life. 
with rigid rules governing media consumption, enforced gender roles, and strict obedience to parental authority, Faith's childhood was defined by isolation and fear. She also suffered emotional and psychological abuse, including being tied to her sister to enforce obedience. As she grew older, Faith increasingly felt stifled by the traditional lifestyle and yearned for personal freedom. In a pivotal moment of self-discovery, she made the courageous choice to leave the Amish community behind. This decision marked the beginning of her journey towards self-realization and independence. However, deciding to leave brought its own difficulties. Faith risked being separated from her family and the familiar ways of her upbringing. Stepping outside her closed-off community, she grappled with adapting to the complexities of the wider society. But despite the challenges, she tackled each obstacle with determination and persistence, motivated by her dream of forging her own path forward. Seeking therapy, Faith realized the abusive nature of her upbringing and the cult-like atmosphere of the Institute in Basic Life Principles. Despite initial denial from her parents, Faith now aims to raise awareness about the trauma inflicted by fundamentalist ideologies. Through her TikTok platform and public speaking engagements, she empowers others who have faced similar challenges to reclaim their agency and heal from the scars of their past. Today, Faith stands as an inspiration showing the transformative power of perseverance and self-belief. Impact of the Breaking Amish Show and Criticisms It faced Breaking Amish, an American reality television show aired on TLC, premiered on September 9, 2012. The series centers on five young Anabaptist adults, including four Amish and one Mennonite, who relocated to New York City to explore life beyond their communities. They must weigh the decision of returning home and facing potential social ostracism or remaining outside their communities. The show documents their experiences in New York, covering aspects such as work, friendships, romance, and lifestyle, while also capturing the interpersonal conflicts among the cast members. The cast members' move to New York City differs from Rumspringa, the traditional Amish rite of passage allowing some 16-year-olds to explore the outside world and determine their future within the community. Following its initial success, TLC commissioned a second season titled Breaking Amish, Brave New World. Subsequent seasons include Breaking Amish, Los Angeles, and Breaking Amish, Brooklyn, each featuring entirely new casts. While there are some connections between the original and new casts, each season presents a fresh set of characters. Criticism has been directed at the series for portraying fabricated relationships and inconsistencies with reality. The production has been transparent about certain non-Amish activities of the cast, gradually revealing more about their past activities throughout the episodes. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you found it enjoyable. To know more interesting stories, tap on the link that pops on your screen. See you there.